For this assignment, you'll be using paint to complete the worksheet, and you'll need the following materials. Analogous colors of your choosing, a mixing palette or disposable plate, a cup of water, paper towels, and a paintbrush. Before painting, fill in the answers for questions 1 through 3. Before starting this worksheet, you need to answer questions 1 through 3. So you're going to choose an analogous color scheme. If you remember from the introductory video, analogous means three colors beside each other on the color wheel. So you have your color wheel worksheet that you can reference, and you're going to pick three colors next to each other on the color wheel. Any three colors at all. Um, when I look at my my little palettes, I'm really low on red, so I'm going to avoid anything with a red tone in it. And I have a ton of the blue, so I'm actually going to choose uh, blue, green, blue, and blue violet as my analogous colors. You can choose any three colors as long as they are beside each other on the color wheel. And you're going to list them however you want. It doesn't matter what you put for which numbers as long as there are three colors next to each other. So it doesn't have to be in order at all. Um, and I like I'm trying to think what I want to do here, but I really would like my elephant to be, to, to be uh, the blue violet. And you can see that there's a lot of, actually the entire elephant himself is, is that. So I'm going to put blue violet. And then if you look up here, um, we've got just a little bit of two, and I'm thinking that two might be the green. So I'm going to put blue green for number two. And then my last choice is blue. Now again, you can do this in any, as long as they are three colors next to each other, that doesn't mean that they have to be listed in that exact order, okay? Just three colors next to each other on the color wheel. So I have done that. So what I'm going to do is I have two colors that I have to mix, and that's going to be my blue-green and my blue-violet. So I'm already going to prepare those, and we're going to have a lot to fill in on this worksheet. Uh, so I'm going to mix a lot of that. The color that I see the most is going to be number three. Uh, so I'm going to, and that one for me is blue violet. So I'm going to make quite a lot of that blue violet. I'm really going to scoop up a lot for my blue violet. And then I'm going to scoop up some for my blue green color. I don't need a lot of that, but I'll get some in there. Make it a little bit more. And then the other colors I'm going to need are the green and the violet. So rinse off my brush. And if you watched uh, the cool and warm color scheme, you'll know I broke my brush. So I'm really working with a teensy tiny brush here. And it's falling apart. Okay. And so I'm going to need a lot of the blue violet. So give me a big old scoop of that blue violet in there. this off and then my last color I'm going to need to make is the blue green so get some green okay and then I could just use the blue straight out of its container so I'm going to mix these up And since I just mixed the blue-green, I'm going to go for that. So blue-green is number two. So anywhere I've got a two, I'm going to make a little dash on my paper. And I don't believe I see any more. So I'm going to fill in those spaces with my blue-green color. All right, and now I'm going to move on to uh, number one, which is blue for me. So I'm just going to use that straight out of its little container. And anywhere I see a one, 
I'm going to make a little dot. believe I've gotten them all. So now I'm going to paint in those places with my number one. And our last one for me is going to be our blue violet. So I'm going to mix that up. I don't even have to rinse my brush. It's already got the blue in it. I think it might have a little bit too much blue in this one. I'm going to come scoop some out. I'm at the end, so I don't need to worry about contaminating my little containers. A little bit more violet in there. I think I overcompensated with too much blue. Still too much blue. It's more like it. Okay. So I'm going to fill the rest of this. And I don't even need to mark them because they're all number three. So I'm going to fill the rest of this with the um, final analogous color, and that would be my blue violet. And there we have it, our analogous color scheme.